Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will, I will try to show you how to resolve the issue whereby I'm trying to connect to a device, a, a Windows 11 device, and I'm receiving this error that says I could not access the Windows 11 as a this host name. The network part was not found. Make sure that the default admin dollar sign share is enabled on Windows that is W L then zero two. So right now I'm actually trying to connect to this device here. This is actually a Windows eleven device which I'm trying to connect to. So, but I'm receiving that error message which says that my I will, I will not be able to connect to that device. So if I even if I try to connect, I'm trying to connect to. Let me try to connect to a PowerShell on that device, and still I will still receive an error message. You can see that it says make sure that the default admin share is enabled on this device on this device so i'm trying to show you this because i it takes me more than an hour to, to actually get this resolved at my work but the solution is very very simple and easy so the problem is this you can see i'm trying to connect to this device host name and here i actually named this device the w windows 11 02 but the problem is this if i go to let me just open the command prompt on this device and uh, try to actually search for the host name so if you look at the host name of this device, here's the problem. So the host name of this device is WLF then strip two. So there's no zero attached to it. So I actually made a mistake when I add the zero two. So I was thinking this is the host name. So that was what actually I did on a device. And I'll try to modify the registry on that device. Try to find a different solution. Called my colleague to actually assist me to see what the problem is. We couldn't actually find a fix. Still, I just stumbled into this and think, okay, why don't check if the host name is correct? And I found out that I was actually trying to connect to the wrong host name. So now if I try to just connect to this device and just take away uh, let me just remove the zero from this and just enter two and then hit enter and here we go i should be able to connect to that device remotely without any issue so let's just wait for some seconds for me to be able to connect to that device you can see it says installing the latest powershell for new features and improvements so here we go now you can see that i'm, I'm connected to that device as a WLF2. Here you can see from the top of this PowerShell screen here you can see that I'm not connected to that device. So this is how you actually resolve a situation whereby you are trying to fix uh, this issue, trying to actually go to the internet to find a solution to this problem. This is the easy fix. Make sure that the host name is correct and definitely you'll be able to connect to that device even to a PowerShell or to a CMD. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. Bye.